Recently, crime against children is increasing at higher rate, and it is high time to offer safety system for the children going to school. When a child does not come to school, it is very important to inform the parents. Time can be critical, as small children may get in trouble, and help should come quickly. It is the responsibility of the school management to inform the parents in time whether their child is present or absent. However, this is not easy to do this manually by typing and sending alert messages to parents. So the suitable solution for this problem is to design an automatic messaging system. Each student is given an RFID card. When the student swipes a card, a message is sent to their parents. This way the parents can know whether their child is present or absent. So in this episode you will learn how to make an automatic parents alert messaging system using Arduino MFRC522 RFID module 16 into 2 LCD and a GSM 700A module. Without any further delay, let's get started. The components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. This is the GSM module. In the market, we have different types of GSM modules. The one I'll be using today is SIM900A. If you want, you can also use any other GSM module, like for example SIM900D. I have also tested the same programming using SIM900D, but with a different part rate. The rest of the programming remains the same. If you're from Pakistan, Bangladesh or India, Make sure you double check the GSM module and purchase the unlocked version of the SIM900A. This GSM SIM900 module as you can see on the screen has no onboard voltage regulator. So be very careful while applying the voltage. Ideal voltage for this GSM module is 4.7 volts. But you can also connect it with a 5 volt adopter. If you don't have a 5 volt adopter, then you can make your own power supply using an LM3170 adjustable variable voltage regulator. I have a very detailed tutorial on LM3170 explaining everything. I will provide a link in the description if in case you want to watch this tutorial. As you can see clearly in this picture, this module has so many pins which are clearly labeled but we will be using only 5 of these pins, the power supply pins, ground, RXT 5 volt and TXT 5 volt. The ground will be connected with the Arduino's ground, TXT will be connected with the Arduino's pin number 7 and RXT will be connected with the Arduino's pin number 8. This is the MFRC522 RFID module. As you can see, all the pins are clearly labeled. The first pin is the VCC and this will be connected with 3.3 volts of the Arduino. Pin number 2 is the RST or reset. Pin number 3 is the ground. While the MISO pin, MOSI pin, SCK pin and NSS pin. These four pins are the SPI pins and will be connected with the Arduino SPI pins. In Arduino, the SPI pins or pin number 13 is the SCK. Pin number 12 is the MISO. Pin number 11 is the MOSI and pin number 10 is the SS. These are the two RFID cards which I'll be using today. I have a very detailed getting started tutorial on how to use the MFRC522 RFID module and how to find the RFID card's identity numbers. I highly recommend first you should watch this tutorial and then you can resume from here. As you know what friends GSM SIM 900A module communicates with the Arduino using serial communication so that's why we have to define pins for the TX and RX pins of the GSM SIM 900A module. As you know that the Arduino has only one serial port which is on pin number 0 and pin number 1. As I always say, use the Arduino's default serial port only for the debugging purposes. Now the question is, if we are using the Arduino's default serial port for the debugging purposes, then how will we connect the GSM module? 
Well, no worries at all. We can define multiple serial ports using the software serial library, which I will explain in the programming. As you can see in the circuit diagram, TX of the GSM 900A module is connected with pin number 7 of the Arduino, and RX of the GSM 900A module is connected with pin number 8 of the Arduino, and ground is connected with the Arduino's ground. A power supply is connected with some 900A. Ideal voltage is 4.7 volts to 5 volts. The MFRC 522RFID module VCC pin is connected with the Arduino's 3.3 volts and the ground is connected with the Arduino's ground. The RST, SS, MOSI, MISO and SCK pins of the MFRC 522RFID module are connected with pins 9, 10, 11, 12 and 13. Pin number 1 and pin number 16 of the LCD are connected with the Arduino's ground while pin number 2 and pin number 15 are connected with the Arduino's 5 volts. Pin number 3 of the 16 into 2 LCD is the contrast pin and is connected with the middle leg of the variable resistor. This variable resistor is used to control the LCD brightness. The remaining two legs of the variable resistor are connected with the Arduino's 5 volts and ground. The RS pin of the LCD is connected with the Arduino's analog pin A1. The EN pin is connected with the analog pin A2, while the 4 to the 7 pins of the LCD are connected with pins 6, 5, 4 and 3 of the Arduino. All the components are interfaced as per the circuit diagram is explained. Now let's discuss the Arduino programming. As I said earlier that the RFID module communicates with the Arduino using the SPI bus. In Arduino and Mega, the SPI pins are different. If you are using Arduino, then connect the pins in the same way as I connected. But if you want to use Mega, then connect RST with pin number 5, SS with pin number 53, MOSI with pin number 51, MISO with pin number 50 and SCK with pin number 52. Before you start the programming, first of all, make sure that you download these two libraries. You can download these libraries from the GitHub. After you download the necessary folders, then simply copy and paste them into the Arduino's library folder. As you can see, I have already downloaded these two libraries. As I'm using the 16 into 2 LCD, that's why I added the Liquid Crystal library and I also added the software serial library for creating a serial port on pin number 7 and pin number 8. Pin number 7 is the RX while pin number 8 is the TX. The SS and RST pins of the RFID module are connected with pin number 10 and pin number 9 of the Arduino. The RS pin of the LCD is connected with the analog pin A1. The EN pin of the LCD is connected with the analog pin A2. The data pins of the LCD are connected with pins 6, 5, 4 and 3 of the Arduino. Initialize the library with the numbers of the interface pins. Then I defined three cell phone numbers. You can increase the numbers as per your requirement. Right now I'm using only three numbers for the demonstration purposes. As you know, every Arduino and Mega program has at least two functions which are the white setup and white loop function. White means that these functions are not returning any values while the empty parentheses means that these functions are not taking any arguments as the input. The RFID and GSM 900A module code is already explained in my previous tutorial based on the RFID and GSM based students attendance system. I will provide a link in the description if in case you want to watch this tutorial. Set up the LCD's number of columns and rows. Print some messages on the LCD then start the wide loop function. When student number 1 swipes a card, a message is sent on the desired number and similarly for the student number 2.
I modified the send SMS function so that it can send messages to multiple numbers. The send SMS function used in my previous tutorials was able to send a message only to one number. This time I'm using two arguments as the input, the message which is to be sent and the cell number. While the edit commands remains the same. This program can be downloaded from my website. I have already uploaded this program. Let's watch this project in action. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.